today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own UV layer for textured printing. So we're going to start with a high res 2 print PDF. As you can see in this PDF we have our crops and bleeds ready to go. This is what you would send to your printer. This is the file you want to work from. So what we're going to do is close that, drag and drop this into Adobe Illustrator. Select CMYK as this is for print. Once you're in here, you're going to want to look at the file and make sure everything looks good. Nothing got changed or messed up when it was imported. And you'll see that everything was kind of made into its own little area or its own little section. So you can click everything individually. So the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate your first layer. And you're going to want to name the top layer UV. In your bottom layer, you're just going to want to shut it off. If you don't want to see it, we do not need it yet. So first, we're going to delete all the things that we do not want to be UV. We are going to do the UV layer on this text right here, as well as this logo up here. So everything else can go. Double click and delete all the individual things. Um, they're going to take a minute to get rid of, but you got to do it. So click, delete. And you can see we have only the things that we want to embellish on here. So first, we're going to take a look at this logo. You're going to want to zoom in so you can see all the little pieces and parts. And as I said before, everything is its own little individual piece. So you can double click and select. And when you're going to open your panel, you're going to want to put in 0, 0, 0, and then 100 for K. That will turn this to 100% black which is exactly what we want. So select 0, 0, 0, 100. Oops. And you want to make sure it actually changes. You know, sometimes things can get missed or you select the wrong thing. Just make sure you're doing the right thing so you don't miss something or make too much. So you want to make sure this is 0, 0, 0, 100. And then we'll do these letters up here, select all of them at once. If it lets you, sometimes it's a little testy, 0, 0, 0, 100. And then you're going to want to do these individual little pink letters. And I'm going to hit shift and select all of them at the same time if it lets me, which it did. So we'll go to our color panel. 0, 0, 0, 100. And as you can see right here, I almost missed this little pink dot. You want to make sure that you don't miss anything that you do want to be UV. If we were not to change that to black, then it would not print textured, and it might look a little weird since it is part of the logo, and we want it to be UV. So next, we want to take a look at this text down here, and it is already black. And it's already an image. If it were live text, you would want to select it. Oops. So you got to make sure you're trying to select the right thing. Oh, there we go. So you would select it. You would go to type, create outlines, and that would make sure that your type turns into shapes rather than live text. So there's no chance of you somehow messing it up throughout this process. So since it's already an image, you're going to want to select this layer. And it's already black, and the way you can check that is by clicking this little eyedropper. You select this color, and you double click your color palette. It's 0, 0, 0, 100. So this is already good to go as text. The problem that we have now is the shadow that runs right underneath the text. So what you're going to want to do to get rid of that shadow, remember when I said everything was an individual piece in Illustrator? That's still true. So we're going to select the top layer. You see this box around here it has it selected. You want to control, copy, delete. And as you can see that just leaves the shadow box down here which we can just select and delete. We do not need it. 
In order to put that text back exactly where we took it from, since we're in Illustrator, we're going to use the key command Control F, and that will put it directly back in its place. And if you're skeptical that it went back into its place, you can check by going to your Layers panel and turning on the bottom layer. This will turn on all the individual original things that were on the poster postcard before we you know created the UV layer and changed things up a bit so you can see none of that text is moved nothing is weird looking everything is exactly where it's supposed to be so then you want to turn this bottom layer off it's very important that the bottom layer is turned off before you save because your UV layer is going to be its own PDF and it's going to be 100 percent black no matter what so from here you simply want to save as. Do not save over your print file. You will regret that probably. Go to a UV folder that I just made here for our project and name it. Hit save. And then we have our own little printing um, presets, but you want to make sure no matter how you save this that you do not check trim marks and you do not have a bleed. You want nothing up here checked zero inch bleed. That will just add crops and bleeds to your print file which are already on there so you know that might just mess things up a bit. So then you want to just save and there you go. If we look into our UV folder there's our file right there. So you can see over here in the preview it is 100 percent black. All the text and the crop marks and I'm not sure if I mentioned to keep the crop marks on this file they will not print and you will not see them but it is nice for us to have them there and the way you can check that your PDF is 100 percent black is you can go up to this little icon up here it's your preview for your color you click on it it'll come up and you can kinda scroll over these areas of black and you'll see that's 100 percent if you shut off the black, all of your stuff will disappear because all of that was 100% black. It didn't have any of these other colors in it. And that's exactly what we want for UV. Thanks for watching.